Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. Today we wanted to talk about getting your aim on point. If you want to get better at Fortnite or any shooting game quickly, this is the video for you. So make sure you watch to the end because all the tips are important. If you ever wonder how Tifu and Cloak hit their shots so well, this is a the method they use. They talk about it all the time. So you will hear them once in a while mention something saying, that guy's Kovaxed out of his mind. That guy's a Kovacs champion. Anytime they get lasered, they say something like this, and they're referring to this program that I'm showing you now. If you want to know things like how you go across a, around a corner and you shoot somebody before you even know they're there, this is the program that's going to do it. It's going to teach hand-eye coordination that will be accelerated so fast that you will notice being better at the game quickly. Let me say before we go too further, this is for PC. Unfortunately, I don't know of a version of this available for other software, but if you are a PC player, this is the one that you want. It is called Kovacs Aim Trainer. It's available for about $10 in Steam. This is not a sponsored video. It's just this is the best thing out there right now, and you will notice a difference quickly. I myself have been trying it just for under a week, and I have noticed an improvement after my second session of playing. I'll add a clip to my second channel, and I'll link it up above if you want to see an example of how quickly I increased in skill. And you could check that out on my second channel where I mainly do gameplay. So with that said, let's go ahead and get in. I'm going to show you how to set it up, but we're going to show you that at the end of the video. First, I'm going to show you how the software works and what we're working with. See if it's right for you. And if you have problems with winning games on Fortnite, this is a big thing. Because if you think of it like this, if you fix your aim and you're hitting your shots, it doesn't matter if you're a terrible builder. If you don't miss, they're going to have a hard time taking you down either way. Yes, we want to get the building done. Yes, we want to get all the other techniques done. But if you aim like a laser, we got this. So let's go ahead and show you some specifics here. We're going to go ahead and show you the first game quick. I know you've seen some already. But the first one we're going to go into here is Tile Frenzy. I like playing this one and starting with this one. Keeps track of accuracy and how many shots you've taken. I prefer to take about 1,500 shots or so until I'm warmed up. I'm sure as I get more used to it and more familiar with it, that amount of shots will go down. Usually around 1,000, 1,200, I'm starting to feel good, but at 1,500, I'm usually shooting out of my mind and, you know, going pretty crazy. So it's up to you how much you want to do. The first session I did of this was 5,000. And it just, it worked really well. But this is going to go ahead and help you with quick reflexes, shooting people from afar, sniping, anything. You know, if someone's standing still, you could shoot them that way. It's going to really help. The next one we're going to go ahead and show you is the Ascending Tracking version 2. This one's tough. I didn't like this one at first because it was very hard to do. I just was terrible at it. But you have to keep doing it because you get better and better at it. I mean, I've probably done like four or five sessions at this point, And now I'm starting to like it because I can kill the targets pretty quickly. I have a better idea and understanding of how everything works. This is going to work really good if you have like, you know, an AR or an SMG and they're running all around. So you start also noticing other things like... You know, it is random where that buoy will jump and everything, but if it's in the corner, you want to shoot it on the opposite side of that corner because it's probably going to jump out of that corner. Just like the person. If they're stuck and they're backing themselves in a the corner, they're probably going to go the other way. So then you start shooting on the other side of the target and, you know, you get even more damage that way. So little things like this is going to make a big difference in the long run. Finally, the third one I like to do, and I don't do this one as much, but I like doing the Jumbo Tile Frenzy Fortnite. Basically, this one will help you with your crazy reflexes around corners, shotgun battles, everything like that. You can see it's very high pace, 
and the tiles are much easier to hit but it's much quicker and it's much in a bigger space of course it's it depends. The speed is up to you. Once you destroy a box, it respawns up to three boxes. So you could just see you go off. If you're going around corners and stuff like this and people are killing you instantly, this is the one you want to do because this is what will let you fire back instantly. You'll just know. Once you see that target, you're just off to the races and shooting. So it's very important to go through and give these a try if you can afford the $10 on Kovacs. It does go on sale from time to time. So you can always add it to your wish list if it's a little too much right now. But it's really worth it. If you can't afford it and there's no chance of you getting any money to pay for it or anything like that, you may want to just Google. There are, uh, I think it's like aimbooster.com. There's a free version on the web. It's definitely not as good, but it's still something. I personally felt like going through and using this for about two hours was equal to about three months of me playing Fortnite. Because think about how many shots you get in Fortnite. You can shoot in the lobby if you get a gun in time and if the lobby's long enough. Once you get there, you drop. Sometimes you're with people, sometimes you're not. If you're not, then you loot up, then you're, you know, getting resources. You're going out, you're going into the circle. You finally see that first person, and a second person shoots you from behind, and you're done. And you're like, okay, I barely got any shots off. I'm not warmed up at all. So that's why this is so good, because you do this before every session. You don't have to do it a lot. Like I said, I usually do 1,000 to 15 items for the Tile Frenzy. 7 to 10 minutes on tracker and then jumbo tiles I usually do about 5 minutes. I'm going to quickly show you how to set up Kovacs here. First you would have to go ahead and purchase the game through Steam and then you'll have this red icon. You can double click to open it. There's going to be another program you need to find your sensitivity settings for Fortnite. Fortnite is odd with the sensitivity even though you're setting it on a certain number it is a line you know it is a scroll so even if say you have your sensitivity at 0.1 it could be 0.17538 now if you move it and go back to 0.1 it could be 0.1112 so you don't want to move it around much because by doing that it is going to go ahead and change everything so with that said, you're going to need this program. Uh, you can download it in the description. The link will be there. Once you go ahead and get it, you just have to unzip it and then open it. It's clientsettings.exe. And then you're going to need to go ahead and choose File Open. And here will be your client settings. You're going to need to paste something else in the description as well in here to bring this up. I'll put it down there so you can just copy and paste it and then you just go ahead and open up your settings. Once you have your settings here, let's go ahead and move it a little bit. We have mouse sensitivity Y and mouse sensitivity X. These are the numbers we're going to be looking at. So if we go into Kovacs, uh, when you're in Kovacs, I just have it small here for a moment. Um, we want to be under main, we want to choose Fortnite config, and then you just want to go ahead and take your X sensitivity, copy it, uh, you got to do control C, forgot, and then just highlight your thing here, and then paste it. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other sensitivity, you're just going to copy it, you're going to come over here and paste it. Once you do that, your sensitivity is set up. So you want to do something else here. You want to go into weapons and you want to check the box that says hide weapons. That way you don't see the weapon and it's more like Fortnite makes it better. Could change your crosshairs and everything like that, but we're not going to get into that in this video because this video is already longer than I wanted it to be. So um, other than that, um, something you may need to know from time to time, if you're running more than one monitor, make sure you click on video. You have to change it to windowed 800 to 600 and that'll give it you the option so you can move it. Once you're done and you have it on the right screen, you want to select either full screen or full screen and windowed. And then you want to select your resolution, which mine's 1920 by 1080. You can make sure all your other items are okay here and then go ahead and choose confirm. 
If you have any problems with the setup on here, you can go ahead and look them up on YouTube. There are a bunch of other sites that go ahead and show you how to configure it. But my real goal here is just to tell you about it, not really configure it, just kind of give you one method. There are other methods of configuring it, but I think that just giving you one will make it easier. At that point, you're good to go and you're good to play. You choose which game you want here. You double tap it, it'll download it, and then you can do free play as long as you want. So they have a bunch of other games here. I haven't gotten to too many others. I did try the flick, the shotgun flick, and it was really, really hard. So I'm going to wait till I get better with the others and then give that another shot. If you find any others that I'm not playing right now that you think help you well, please list them down below and let everybody know because it'll be awesome. We can go ahead and keep kind of a collective list down there of all the good games. And what is your accuracy in Tile Frenzy after 1,000 shots? Let me know. I believe after 5,000, I was at 87.6 my first time playing. But at 1,000, I probably wasn't that high. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this, please do me a favor with a big Kovac smile on your face. Smack that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Smack it.